Hey guys, so I thought we'd just go uh, through the features here, show you the colors. And um, it's a very simple flash on flash, uh, seven or eight colors. Smooth swing is beautiful on it. And, uh, and then I'll do the rest of the video, I'll take, I'll show you the inside and all that stuff. I actually already did a video for this once, but I, I really didn't show off the colors, so I figured I'd add to it. So um, fire it up. I guess it's about time I find out who I am. Get a little quote there from Cal Kestis, and then there's that nice blue. This is Neo Pixel. You will have to get your own blade. This one I made uh, from Cosmic Saber Shop parts, so it's an older blade. Smooth swing. Flash on flash. I have it set to a slight amberish white. It works on all colors, and it's pretty cool. And then you double tap for um, color change. Beautiful yellow. I don't know how it's showing up on camera, but it is a beautiful yellow amber. Double clicky green. There's uh, blue. Double click. There's a beautiful magenta purple, kind of like a mace window purple. Double click. There's red. With that amber flash, it looks really cool. So there's all your colors, and I'm going to go over in more detail about the saber in the uh, in a close-up video on the bench. So, all right, guys. So uh, here we are on the bench, and here is the uh, Cal Kestis Fallen V2. And as you can see, I got a lot of work in here with the uh, detail. Um, got some brass. Uh, actually used all enamels on this. I didn't do any chemical weathering on this at all. Usually I do a bunch of chemical stuff. I wanted it to look like um, like it had just blown up, you know what I mean? So it was kind of still in semi-new condition before, you know, it had all, all the wires hanging out and before that. And I did one before that had all that stuff, but I like this a little better. You get to see all that detail in there. So it still keeps that nice chrome, shiny aluminum stuff. And, you know, it, that will tarnish, or not tarnish, it will age over time and get duller, but you can always polish it up with some, uh, McGuire's Mag Polish actually works really good on that. You can see the detail I did on the paint here. You give it that weathered, rusty look. Also did all the, the bent up, exploded part of the hilt. You know, um, open it up inside. So we're running the Verso board in here. Uh, let me show you. So we have, we'll start from the top here. We're running the Plector Pixel 7-pin adapter in there. <clears throat> so the blade depth isn't really that all that deep. It's, so it's, you know, it's about an inch and a quarter, maybe inch and a half. Um, the reason that is, is because the, it's now a thin neck. If you can really see it under here, you wouldn't be able to fit anything other than until you get to about here. So that's why it's, it's a little thinner. Also, you should note that 89 Sabres designed and, and built this hilt. I would um, recommend if you own a one inch NeoPixel blade, or if you're getting one, make sure that you sand the blade down. Um, the, for some reason, 89 lately, um, they make beautiful designs and beautiful Sabres, but their, their um, tolerances for the the emitter sections on almost all of their sabers have been really, really tight lately. So I've had to sand all of my NeoPixel blades to fit most of their sabers. So let's take it apart. I'll show you what comes off and what doesn't. You can obviously take these shrouds off by using a hex head and take the shrouds off. That's what I did when I did the finishing work on it. So I get more close up here so you can see the detail. It's in really excellent condition. It was just a shelf clean. I built this for myself. I was never going to get rid of it. But I'm afraid. Almost looks like a TIE fighter coming at you. <laughs> anyway, um, so we're running the Verso board, which is one sound font with uh, like seven or eight colors. And the Verso board is actually a house inside the chassis in here. And I'm going to show you that right now. So we'll take this off. We'll unscrew the handle. It's a very solid build, so... So the handle comes off. There's your battery right there. I'll show you the handle. The handle, the pommel actually unscrews as well. 
but once you have it all the way tight, that's where you want it. I mean, you can unscrew it if you want, but tighten that up so that goes like that. That's fine. We're running the keep power battery in here. Let me spin that. Keep power, keep power battery 1863. I put this red marks on here so that you don't put the battery in backwards. Positive is always forward. Okay, the spring is obviously the negative, so. All right. So um, the chassis is actually housed all the way into here to where it gets to the switch part. And that's how the Verso sits in here. And it's got the latest firmware. Um, all the, oh, the tape around the speaker. Um, I can take it off. <laughs> it's something I've been doing. I don't know why, but some chassis designs had this, these open holes. And I plugged them with um, different things and stuff like that. But for some reason, when I use the tape around the speaker, it just gets louder. I don't know. So I'm just going to keep doing it. But speaker um, is a 24 millimeter Sabre Essential speaker. There's your battery housing in there. So just obviously just put the negative in the back. You'll hear the boot up sound when I put this battery in. I guess it's about time I find out who I am. So there you go. I mean, the tape looks a little messy here, but I can straighten that out. And I will before I, I let it go. Um, so yeah, and obviously it's louder when the... I'm doing this over the camera, so bear with me, guys. It's obviously louder when you um, have the handle on. To access the chassis, you can... I use a... Um, kind of like an E6000 adhesive on here, so it's not like a permanent adhesive. You can take a pair of pliers and pull that off. Um, with very, you know, with a little bit of force, but not, don't scratch up your, your saber, you know what I mean? So, you can take that off, and there's three screws in there. The last screw at the top holds the chassis. When you unscrew that, you flip it over, and you can actually pull the chassis out to access the SD card. So, although I don't know why you would need to access it. It's got the latest firmware and everything. Um, so let me show you, I already showed you the blade. This is also going to come with this beautiful blade plug from um, uh, Saber Gear, or as on eBay, they're known as Defcon Bird. He makes incredible stuff. So this plug, I made custom with a stock uh, NPXL adapter, and this fits. It's a little snug, but um, you can see that down to make it fit better, but it fits perfectly in there, and it just looks so cool. So, and I don't even have to tighten it up. Now, to tighten up for blade retention, the, the blade retention screw is right there. So, this is a 1.5 millimeter hex head that I'm using, or Allen, Allen key. Um, I think I may have a spare small one, you know, just a little L shape. So, I'll throw that in with the saber as well. The saber does not come with a blade. It comes with exactly how you see here, with battery and the blade plug. And now let's fire it up. Um, very simple operation. I guess it's about time I find out who I am. Smooth swing. And the color change is just simple. Uh, double click. like two blues it's like a dark blue a light blue that's that's a the, the, like green or that's the green the one before it was like an amber yellow it's really cool it just does not show up well on camera at all and this is a pretty good camera and the blue the, and there's red okay yeah so there's several blues greens reds and that, then we start all over again on the blue it's like more of a royal blue it's kind of got that darker blue. I personally like it on that one. But, so yeah, I can hear a smooth swing. And again, real quick, the uh, detail in here, we did some flat black in here. It's not, none of this is going to come off. It's all sealed too. So like, for example, this is, was done with a flat black and then I triple coated it with clear matte, um, clear matte. So it really looks and feels like a like a rubber grip almost, like a hard rubber grip. And, um, you know, that's why it's blown out like that. 
you know, so we bent all that up, scratched that up a little bit down here, scuffed that up, sorry for out of focus. And then I obviously weathered this with some different techniques that I use. So, like I said, you can, act, oh, this button here uh, is useless. It, now that's for a two button setup on a different board if you wanted. Now I could have run them both in parallel, but I didn't. I just chose to use the one button. I didn't see any reason. Because if you're holding it and you grab it, you can grab it like this. But if you end up hitting that button, you know, while you're swinging it, you're going to get changes or clashes or whatever. So. I guess it's about time I find out who I am. It goes into a deep, I have it set to go into a deep sleep mode really fast. So the battery life will last a long time. So, because like I said, I had it sitting on a shelf uh, with my other collection, the rest of my collection. So, anyway. That blade plug is so cool. <laughs> really, really hate parting with this. I did a lot of work on this, man, to get it to look the way it looks. Like I said, I hate getting rid of it, but I got other projects that are fun. I got some bills to pay. So. So, let me make this video for you, get this all together, and we'll get it listed.